there, I'm Scott Clayson and welcome to NSC TV, your behind the scenes weekly show highlighting the events, programs, athletes and people of the National Sports Center. Well, I've returned here to the Victory Links golf course for this episode, but there's one major difference this time, no snow. Well, it's a nice day out here and the golf season is well underway. A special event took place this week at the golf course, the Herb Brooks Classic Golf Tournament with proceeds benefiting the Herb Brooks Foundation. It was a fun time. The event featured several celebrities and it was a great way to remember Herbie and raise funds to carry on his vision to increase hockey opportunities for youth and teach the game in new and creative ways. When I think about my father in the Herbrooks Foundation, um, we've had a lot of different fundraising events. Our main fundraising events, uh, an annual black tie gala held downtown every year uh, and then obviously this golf tournament and I think of him being around. Um, how much he'd enjoy this over the uh, formal gala. Um, he loved the National Sports Center and everything that it stood for. Well, we've got a lot of good celebrities. We've got uh, four, five, or six uh, current Minnesota Gophers. Um, Phil Housley's going to be here. Who, Tom Chorsky, Sean Pudin, Ben Hankinson, who played for my dad in New Jersey. Um, I know Brad Bombardier of the Wilds is going to be here. Darby Hendrickson will be here. Hi, I'm Tony Lucia, I'm Gopher forward at the uh, University of Minnesota. And uh, I'm excited to be out here and support Herb Brooks Foundation. And uh, Jason Bird, just uh, happy to uh, support the Herb Brooks Foundation, and we're looking forward to uh, being the champions today and getting our name on the Herb Brooks Foundation Golf Tournament Trophy. Kevin Gorg, FSN North. I hope my hockey predictions are better than my weather thoughts this year. Uh, I was told 65 and sunny. I dress for it. It's 45 and raining. Feels like the British Open. Herbie, thanks a lot. My name is Matt Kowalska. Uh, playing with these. Uh, fine young gentleman over here to my left. Um, it's, uh, it's always a great day when you can support Herb and what he's done for, uh, for Hockey Minnesota. Participants played 18 holes on the Victory Links course before reception and dinner. Thanks to all those who came to support the Herb Brooks Foundation. Well now let's look ahead. Some of you may be aware that the Minnesota Thunder, the state's professional soccer team, recently announced that they will be moving their home field from St. Paul's Griffin Stadium to the NSC Stadium. Now next week we'll bring you a more in-depth look at the move, which will include an interview with former U.S. men's national team player Manny Lagos, who's the current Thunder president. But in the meantime, be sure to check out the Thunder this Saturday evening in the squad's first game at the NSC this year. Kickoff against the Miami FC Blues is set for 7.35 p.m. It's the featured game of this weekend's NSC Cup, the Midwest Premier Memorial Day Tournament. 225 teams will be participating in the tournament, including 174 from Minnesota and 74 out-of-state squads. Now, NSC Cup has long been the event that unofficially kicks off the busy summer soccer season for the NSC, and it's very much something to be excited about. And here's the good news. Each NSC Cup participant will receive a free ticket to the Thunder game, so please come support. Well, that's going to do it for this week's episode of NSC TV. I'm Scott Clayson, your host, and you can always find us at nscsports.org. Twenty-five teams will, will be participating in that. Kind of, I stumbled there, and I know that you, you don't like that. I wouldn't stand there if I were you. <laughs> I'm not very good. I'm not, I'm not kidding either. Well, you know, it's obvious. You know, I don't always make the proper predictions on FSN North. And I, I was talking to a, a young lady friend of mine as I left the door. And she said, you're wearing pants, aren't you? I said, you know what? I think it's going to be a great day. The sun's shining. It only feels like 52 right now. But this thing's going to get up to 65 or 70. And once again, striking out. Horrible. And if I had good legs, that'd be one thing. But these things are pasty white from wearing pants all the time, working out at Canterbury Park in the paddock. So, ooh, not so good. I thought Big Brown would get beat in the Kentucky Derby. I thought it'd be 70 today. Right now I'm the kiss of death. <laughs>